Heidi here of BananaBuzzBomb.com. As I stated last week, from here on out on BananaBuzzBomb.com, we are going to be covering vegetarianism, veganism, transitioning, you name it, on Fridays. We're going to be covering things like vegans and honey, vegans and wool, vegans and insects, anything out of the sun that you can imagine, we are going to be covering that. And I'm going to be looking to you to give me your input on what you want me to cover. Chime in, comment, do whatever you need to do. Let me know what you want to hear about and what my opinion is on certain things to help you guys learn more. So make sure you comment. Also, I wanted to talk about a few things before we kind of delve into the entire conversation of transitioning and veganism and vegetarianism and all that other good stuff. First things first, there's always going to be someone standing there telling you you're doing it wrong. Don't get all hung up on this because this is true no matter what aspect of your life because it just happens, especially when it comes to veganism and removing animal products from your life because there's always going to be someone there saying, you need to have animal products in order to get all your nutrients. Yes, that's going to occur. And then you're going to have the strict vegans telling vegetarians, you're not doing enough. You can't be eating that. Just don't worry about it. Block it out. You are on your own journey. You have to figure out what works best for you. And I say this no matter what in your life. If it's your fitness, your running, you name it. You have to figure out what works best for you. And what works best for me might not work best for you. So figure out what you need to do to get to where you want to be. Number two, Look at the big picture of vegetarianism. Don't look at these tiny little details and get freaked out because that's what happens. People are like, I can't ever do that. Oh my gosh. And then they just shut down or they get really strict with themselves. And when they get strict with themselves, it's very hard to maintain. And that's where they fail. So yes, you want to look at the details, but realize that those details will fall in on your journey. Don't get hung up on those details. Don't get hung up on messing up, things like that. It's the journey you're on, you will get there. Here I am four years later after going vegetarian and then vegan, and I can guarantee I still have slip ups. Not necessarily planned slip ups, but they do occur, and I'm not gonna lose sleep over them. So don't get hung up on that. And lastly, the opinions and thoughts that I show in these vlogs or on my blog are mine. I came to these conclusions through my own research soul searching. So as I said earlier, what works for me or what I believe might not be what you believe. So the point of these videos is to educate you, number one. Number two, to give you a guiding point or starting point to go off of, but make your own views on things. I'm just here to help you and assist you answer questions and things like that. So with all that being said, I'm excited about this. I'm excited to give you input and help you guys. Make sure you chime in, as I stated, because I'm going to be t depending on you for your comments and things like that, because I need whatever you say, that's how this is going to be directed. So I need to know where you guys want me to go. So make sure you comment below, visit my blog, bananabuzzbomb.com. Make sure you subscribe to the videos because we're going to continue this, as I said. So it's very important, and I look forward to hearing from you. Keep smiling and be grateful. Talk to you later.